Hey, what's up guys? Spencer Rhodes here. So, The Walking Dead has had a history of switching things from the comics, between the comics and the TV show. Um, in the comics, the, the governor decapitated Tyrese with a sword in the show. It was Herschel that got decapitated by the governor. Um, you know, the show had Lizzie and Mika, the comics had Bill, Ben and Billy, and both both sets of characters pretty much had, um, had the same story. And Abraham got shot through the eye of an arrow in the comics. It was Denise Cloyd in the show. So the comics in the show have a history of mixing things up. Actually, it does it quite a lot. Um, maybe even most of the time. You know, the deaths, the, the way characters die, those tend to stay the same. But what changes is the characters that those deaths happen to. Um, and Cal is one of the characters in The Walking Dead that um, ha is definitely not going to die like he died in the comics. I mean, he could die in the same style, in the same fashion, but it won't be from the, the same... It won't be the same cause. It won't be the same um, characters. It won't be the same situation because in the comics... Cal died near the end of All Out War. Um, he, the Negan and his saviors came up to Hilltop, and um, Cal was at the at the top, um, standing guard like he usually does. And Negan was wanting to come in, and Cal was saying no. And Negan had one of his saviors shoot Cal casually, and Cal just gets shot through the head and dies. It's kind of a very quick death. Um, kind of a minor casualty um, close to the end of the war. He was never a big character in the comics and he's really has he really hasn't been a big character on the show either. But the thing is, um Cal survived all that war in the show. Um Cal did not die during season eight, which was all of All Out War. Um I remember watching the last episode of season eight and I was I was just for sure thinking that Cal would die. And then he didn't and I was like, well holy shit. Um because I figured they would kill Cal off and then Eduardo would be sad and that would be like character development. But it seems that Cal um, is going to live at least a little bit longer. Um, he survived season 9 so far. There are 6 episodes in and he has um, stayed alive. Um, he seems to be getting a slightly bigger part. Um, he was like someone that was close to Maggie but Maggie has pretty much disappeared. Um, she she's not in the show right now. She might come back in season ten. We don't know. So I don't know what exactly they're doing with Cal. I would like to see Cal live multiple seasons longer. I would like to see Cal survive a while. Um, he seems like a, a cool enough character. Um, I kind of personally prefer him over Eduardo. I know a lot of people like Eduardo, and I just figured that Cal would die and Eduardo would get upset, but. Maybe Eduardo dies and Cal gets upset and it develops Cal and makes Cal a harder survivor and a, and a tougher soldier and he lives up to the Whisperer War. Maybe he even survives the Whisperer War. Um, yeah, I mean, I would like to see Cal be that character that just beats all odds and continues to survive, 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 survive. I'd like to see him survive season 9, season 10, season 11, season 12. I mean, that'd be badass. I mean, for a show that usually kills characters, especially minor characters, all the time, and no one lives very long unless their name is Tara or Daryl or Michonne, um, it would be kind of interesting to see Cal just outlive everyone and, and beat the odds. Um, will it happen? No, probably not. It's not likely. But I would definitely support it, and I would support the character and the actor, and I would like to see him live that long. Um, that would be kind of cool and crazy. I mean, he's already lived through all that war, so he's already lived longer than he was expected to. He lived longer than he did in the comics. He didn't get his comic death, so that you know that's kind of interesting. Um, I would like to see Cal make it to like season thirteen. That that'd be badass and crazy. I don't even know if the show's gonna make it to season 13, but um, it'd be cool to have like a familiar face from Hilltop. You know, he's one of the, the, the bigger familiar faces from Hilltop, so um, you know, other than Eduardo and the black chick that has no lines that we've only seen like once or twice a season, 
but she was like a soldier during all that war. There's there's not a whole lot of familiar faces from Hilltop. There's not a lot of characters that we've gotten to know other than, you know, Jesus and, you know, Gregory's dead. And it, it would be cool to see Cal live a long time. Um, there is a chance that he could die in Season 9. Um, he could be one of the heads on Spikes. Um, he could be one of the 12 characters. I have a feeling it's going to be 12 characters, just like the comics. The, the difference will be who it is, because some characters have already died, like Dr. Carson's brother. Um, so they can't completely um, take the characters that are straight from the comics and, and kill those exact same characters. So they're going to have to remix it a little bit. Um, it's possible that Cal could be one of the heads on Spikes, but... Um, I'm hoping that he survives that, and I'm hoping he at least makes it to Season 10. And like I said, I'd like to see Cal make it to Season 11, Season 12, Season 13. But, you know, that's just my opinion. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't be shy. Hit that like and subscribe. I'm not going anywhere. I make one to two Walking Dead videos per day, so please hit that subscribe button. Right now, we are at 177 subscribers. My goal is to try to get to 200 in the next few weeks. So um, just remember that every subscriber counts. I appreciate all of you that are subscribed right now. Let's just hope that we can continue to build and grow this community of people. And with all that said, I am Spencer Rhodes, and I will see you guys later. Bye.